A reading from Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with a rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall lie with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and the little child shall lead him. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the ass, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's stem. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. This ends this reading. This reading is from Luke, the promise revealed to Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But Mary was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This ends this reading. This reading is from Luke. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, Jesus is born in Bethlehem. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while, quote, Rhenus was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered, Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. 
This ends the reading. Today I'm reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. The angels sing. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in swathing clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. This ends the reading. So this reading is from Luke 2, verses 15 through 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. This ends this reading.
you for joining our virtual Christmas Eve service. Last year we were feeling our way along as we put together this service. It was all a new experience. We had no template to follow. We had no previous service bulletin to refer to. In fact, we were flying by the proverbial seat of our pants as we first put a call out to our Sunday school children to, to come and slip into the angel and shepherd and wise men costumes so we could take a picture. Wanda had come in earlier and taken all those costumes home and had washed and ironed them. And as she brought them back and she, she laid them out so neatly on the tables down in the dining room so the children could pick from them who they wanted to be. The parents of our children were so good to bring them in. And the children seemed to be happy to get into the costumes and then to come up here in the sanctuary to have their pictures taken. They hadn't been in the sanctuary for months at that point. It had been March that we had been shut down. We called in our liturgists one by one to come and read all the passages that tell the Christmas story. And they all responded willingly and eagerly. And then we got Bob to come, and, and with his cornet, we asked Rachel Davis to accompany him on the organ. And we staged that videotaping at night for the effect of the candlelight and the Christmas lights that, that show off their very best in our sanctuary. And then we sent out a call to you to this church family, to take selfies with a, with a lighted candle at home and, and to send them in. And that's how you kept the candle lighting service together. Your pictures shared as the organ played Silent Night. Most of the we was Cho, who put all the pictures together into a video service that was our Christmas Eve candlelight worship service last year. This Seat of the Pants production was a hit, a classic, a platinum keeper. So well received, in fact, that it was requested that we do another virtual service this year, in addition to the in-house service we plan to have on Friday night. So here we are, and things have only gotten better because we do have an idea of what we are doing and, and how to do it. And everyone is still enthusiastic about participating. And this year, our production crew has doubled. Megan is using her technical video skills to blend things together as Cho brings all the many taped and photographed pieces to her. We have another virtual Christmas Eve service to share as we celebrate the birth of Christ. Because we have all come together and cooperated and supported one another in the effort. It all comes down to this, dear friends. Here in all we have been able to do yet another year to celebrate this holy night, we give our thanks to God for the life of the Bethlehem baby come into the world and into each one of our hearts. In each face, in every word spoken, in every candle lighted, every picture taken, effort made, in every desire in so many hearts for this service to unite us in worship, on this night, wherever we may be, thanks be to the everlasting Lord of our hearts and lives. Come into this world, the love of Christ dwelling in our midst. Let us light our candles in celebration and thanks to God for the love of this life of faith that we share together.